Hi everybody, welcome to Kingston Library's school holiday program online, building a newspaper fort. So, first you need some old newspaper, some masking tape, sticky tape, packing tape, whatever you can find, or a stapler. So we take two sheets of paper, like so, and we are going to roll it on the diagonal across like so. As tight as you can to make sure it's strong enough to hold. So rolling, rolling, rolling. So it looks like a big long newspaper stick. And once you get to the end, you need to get a little bit of your sticky tape and tape it tightly like so. So you need probably anywhere between about 28 to about 50 of these, depending on how big you'd like to make your fort and how structurally sound you would like to make it. Once you've got your sticks, you then need to turn them into triangles, like so. So you stick or staple three of your newspaper sticks together like so. And then when you think you've got enough of them, you are going to attach them together like so. Lay them flat out. And when you think you've got enough, probably about six of them, six or seven, depending on how big you're going to make it, then you're going to join it together to create your newspaper fort. Like so. Voila! <laughs> There's my newspaper fort. If you don't have newspapers at home, that's okay. Your grown-ups might have been doing some online shopping and there might be some spare boxes lying around. Or you can always grab some dining chairs and throw a sheet over them and make a fort. Or even ask if you can tip the dining table upside down and pop the sheet over that way. You could tuck a sheet into the top of your bunk and create your own hidey space over the school holidays. We hope you have fun getting creative making your forts and we'd love to see you post them on Kingston Library's Facebook page. Have fun. Bye for now.